What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic Devante Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz mismatch nearly ends in tragedy for Santa Cruz. Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. Okay, boxing fans, let's chop up some more boxing. All right, so we all saw the fight. Leo Santa Cruz, uh, Javante Davis. Basically, a mismatch. Uh, you know, from what I saw, uh, Santa Cruz really had no business being in there with uh, Javante Davis. I mean, at the end of the day, Santa Cruz is a 126 pounder. You know, uh, Javante Davis is a, a 140 pounder fighting a lightweight. Okay, so. I mean, you know, uh, there's no other way this fight was going to end but that. I mean, you know, I mean, I have to give it to Santa Cruz. He put up a good fight. Okay, he tried his best. But uh, I, I'm going to have to agree. I mean, you would never see me agree with anything that Gary Russell is saying, but I'm going to have to agree with him in this, in this, you know, on this point. Okay, Gary Russell, I saw him. He said that, uh, he said Santa Cruz, wasn't defensively sound enough to stop that uppercut because uh, Javante had been throwing the uppercut all night. And he's right. Javante threw that uppercut. He caught Santa Cruz that same uppercut a couple of times. Okay. And he'd been throwing that same uppercut all night. And he finally caught uh, Santa Cruz. And, you know, uh, if you saw the fight, you saw the way when he came in to, to end the fight, he came in at Santa Cruz and Santa Cruz hit him with a, a right hand or a right and a left. And he just backed up and then came forward again. He got hit with another right and the left. And then he just walked right through the punch and just delivered the uppercut. So basically, he acted, it was like Santa Cruz was even there. Okay? I mean, it, it, you know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, to me, that was just a mismatch. Uh, I, you know, I, I want to see Javante Davis, you know, in some real fights. Okay? You know, fighting some real elite fighters. Okay? And, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I, although... You know, Santa Cruz put up a brave fight and, you know, he did his best. Uh, you know, it looked like he couldn't stick to his strategy, which was to basically try to box uh, Javante Davis till around the sixth or seventh round. And then, you know, uh, try to take the fight, you know, take it to him the rest of the fight and see if he could, you know, pressure him while after he had lost some of his, his power. You know, uh, but it looked like uh, Deante, I mean, uh, Javante was in shape. Looked like he was ready for that. And as a matter of fact, it's ironic that Javante Davis, you know, put the pressure on Santa Cruz in the sixth round, which is the same round that Santa Cruz was talking about that he was going to have to take uh, Deante, I mean, Javante Davis in the sixth round, you know, and then after the sixth round, start applying pressure. But uh, Javante didn't give him a chance. He just ended the fight right there and then. And you saw the way he did it. He, he did it emphatically. Okay. Like, you know, this is, I'm going to end the fight now. And that's all there is to it. And he just walked in there and ended the fight. Okay. I think he could have done that at any point in the fight, actually. Okay. So, you know, that, you know, that's just how I see that. Uh, I just think that, uh, Santa Cruz had no business being in there with, uh, Javante Davis. You know, Javante Davis is, is past that level where, uh, Santa Cruz is because I'm I, like I said at the end of the day Santa Cruz is a 126 pounder okay he's not a he's not a lightweight okay and uh to go in there against a guy like Javante Davis you know who's a natural really a natural 140 pounder fighting as a lightweight because he can barely make lightweight sometimes I don't, I don't know how he made 130 pounds but you know I mean you you have a guy who's a, a lightweight moving down to 130 pounds and you know naturally he's, he's going to be stronger He's used to taking, you know, heavier punches than Santa Cruz can throw at him. And uh, it showed in this fight. It was a mismatch. That's what it was. I mean, it almost ended in tragedy for Santa Cruz. I mean, you know, I, I kind of felt, you know, I was a little worried there, uh, you know, uh, waiting for him to uh, come around from that knockout. It was a brutal punch, you know, uh, delivered with the full force of a 140-pounder. Of a okay. So, 
that fight should have never happened. I'm not really that impressed by it. Okay, I mean, I understand the strategy of it. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about making strategic moves. You know, for for the for Mayweather and 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 then for uh, Devante. I see what they're doing. You know, they're trying to make him into a uh, a star, as they say. And you know, the way they're going about doing it, you know, is the way it's done. I mean, at the end of the day. I mean, you know, they're making him into a star. I mean, you know, if you want to make a star, then that's how you do it. I mean, I don't know what, if that's going to make him a champion, but it's going to make him a star, you know, because I remember when, uh, you know, I mean, I like, I mean, what they did was they, they basically, I, I'm, I'm thinking that after this fight, Santa Cruz probably going to retire. Okay. He had a lot of fights. Okay. I don't know. I think he probably retired after this fight. I'm pretty sure he got well paid for it. Okay. So basically, they had him, Santa Cruz, you know, fight Javante Davis. Davis fighting Santa Cruz. It's a Mexican, you know, fight. Uh, Santa Cruz had a lot of Mexican fans. And so you saw Javante Davis coming in with a Mexican outfit on and the whole nine yards, like Sugar, like uh, that Floyd did when he fought. Uh, I forgot who he fought when he did that. But yeah, he came in there with the same kind of setup. And that's not new, really, because it, it was all, you know, uh, started with uh, Roger Mayweather. Okay, you know, God rest his soul. Uh, you know, uh, I remember when uh, Roger Mayweather was uh, fighting back in the day, he, w he used to call himself, the, you know, the Mexican assassin. Okay, and he used to come in there with a, he used to come in there with a black Mexican sombrero with a black uh, thing over his shoulder, uh, you know, and in, in black outfit, you know, his Mexican outfit was black. And, uh, you know, he was knocking out a lot of, uh, you know, uh, Mexican fighters back in the day, okay, and to the point where they used to call him, they used to call him a lot of different names, but one name was the Black Mambo, uh, the Black Mamba, Mamba Snake, or something, yeah, the Black Mamba, uh, but one of his most popular names, you know, was uh, uh, the Mexican Assassin, and he used to come in there with his Mexican getup, so I see that, you know, Floyd is taking a page from that book, you know, which is great and all of that. I mean, I understand the strategy, you know, because, you know, when when Roger was doing it, he was, you know, knocking out these uh, Mexicans, uh, these Mexican fighters, you know, he gave him a lot of popularity, okay? He got a lot of eyes on him because of that, okay? Uh, you know, because of the whole setup and, you know, he was like the bad guy, but, you know, he was, you know, there's no such thing as bad publicity, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Publicity is publicity. So he was doing great back then when he was the Mexican assassin. And so I see that. So I understand the strategy of what Floyd is doing with, you know, with, with uh, Javante Davis. But again, you know, uh, uh, I'm not really that impressed by that fight because, like I said, 126 pounder fighting a 140 pounder, 135 pounder is not really the way, it, you know, it's supposed to be. Uh, Javante needs to be in there with, you know, top competition, uh, fighting all these guys that he's fighting, you know, a lot, mostly Mexican guys, you know, not the elite fighters, okay? I don't know, uh, you know, how far that's going to get him when he actually has to go in there against an elite fighter, okay? So I'm sure this is going to be successful uh, in terms of, you know, what they were trying to achieve in making him a star, a pay-per-view star. You know, he had a, a, a vicious knockout on his first pay-per-view fight, okay, against a top uh, Mexican uh, fighter uh, in terms of uh, Leo Santa Cruz, who's well-known and well-liked as a fighter, okay? And, uh, you know, it's a, it was a good strategy from that perspective. But from a boxing, you know, perspective, from, you know, boxing purism or from, you know, as a boxing purist, I'm... I wasn't that really impressed with it. Uh, you know, it's a good marketing thing, you know, marketing ploy. But as far as boxing, I don't think it was good boxing at all. Uh, you know, putting a 126 pounder in there against a 135 pounder. You know, I, I don't know. It wasn't, I didn't really enjoy that. I don't like to see fights like that. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I'm just glad that uh, there was no, you know, it looked like there was no permanent damage on Santa Cruz. It looked like he's, he's going to be okay. You know, I guess he, he he probably I don't think he ever got knocked out before, and so you know it's not like he get he's getting repeatedly knocked out. So you know that's you know so it probably won't be any permanent damage. Uh, hopefully, you know I'm glad that he's okay, and you know, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, you know, at least that worked out. But yeah, uh, that's you know basically what I think about that fight. Uh, I think you know I, I'm hoping to see. Uh, I mean. 
Javante got a lot of talent. He's a good boxer. And he needs to be in there against guys, you know, uh, you know, of his caliber, you know, and his weight, at his weight level, not a guy two weights below him, you know, uh, as good as Santa Cruz was. I mean, and again, you know, uh, like I said, I, I'm going to have to agree with Gary Russell in this one, you know, uh, even though I don't agree much of anything of what Gary Russell says. And you could go to my videos and look up what I, I said about Gary Russell. But in this situation, he was correct. You know, and uh, he said that uh, Leo Santa Cruz had a good strategy, but he wasn't defensively sound enough to carry it out. And that is that's exactly right. Okay, because Leo Santa Cruz should not, should, shouldn't have gotten into a firefight with uh, Devante Davis until maybe around the seventh or eighth round. You know, maybe around the eighth round, eighth, ninth round. That's when he should have gotten into the firefight. Okay, when Javante Davis had expended some of his energy. But like I said, you could see that Javante Davis didn't want to go much past the sixth round because he looked like he specifically went into the end of the fight in the sixth round. He just walked into it. He just walked right through Santa Cruz, punches in the sixth round, just ended the fight. Okay, it looked like he could have done that at any point in the fight. Okay, because it, even though Santa Cruz landed like four straight punches on his face, he didn't phase him at all. He just walked in and delivered that punch. And then Santa Cruz wasn't able to, you know, to, to, you know, to basically defend against it. Like it looked like Santa Cruz, I mean, from what I can see, he was trying to fight his fight, but like, you know, uh, but most of the time it looks like when, when Javante Davis came at him, he didn't know any other way to defend against that rather than just fight it out. Okay. So he would just stay in the pocket and try to fight it out with, with, with Davis, which he should never done. Okay, he should be moving away from Davis, circling the ring, you know, using the jab. Okay, you know, occasionally, you know, throw a one, a, a, a one, two, or a, you know, one, two, three, and then keep it moving again until he got to around the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth round, about the eighth or ninth round. Then he should have started applying the pressure when uh, Santa, when uh, Davis was getting tired, but he didn't, he didn't get to that. Davis didn't let him get to that point. He just ended it in the sixth round and. Uh, you know, that's what he was supposed to do, actually. So, I mean, at the end of the day, the fight ended the way it was supposed to end. You know, that's what Davis should have done. Uh, he was fighting a guy two ways below him, really, if you want to get, you know, real about it. And uh, when you fight a lighter guy like that, you know, uh, uh, somebody who's, you know, not in your weight level, uh, that's how you're supposed to end the fight. Just walk him down and knock him out. That's how it's done. Okay, so he did what he was supposed to do. So, uh, you know, good knockout, but like I said, uh, that was to be expected. Uh, you know, I, I didn't think that, you know, e even before this fight, you know, even when they announced this fight, I was like, what? I mean, why would they even announce this fight? I, I didn't think Santa Cruz had any business being in there with Devante Davis at all, okay? As good as Santa Cruz is, but he's good for the weight that he was at, and that's where he should have stayed, you know, uh, trying to come up the light way to fight a guy like uh, Javante Davis is, is, is you know, is, he, I mean, it's pure folly. I mean, he must have been getting a lot of money for this fight. I mean, why else would he take a fight like that? Okay, I mean, you had other options down there at 126. You had Gary Russell Jr., who's your actual weight. Okay, you could afford Gary Russell. You could afford, you know, a lot of other guys. But maybe you would not got the kind of money you were getting against uh, Davis. So. At the end of the day, I, I can see, you know, it from that perspective as well. Maybe, like I said, maybe Santa Cruz decided that he wanted to, you know, uh, cash out. And this is the way he was going to do it against a big uh, big fight against a guy like uh, Devante Davis. So now, you know, uh, I guess the title stays, you know, with Devante Davis. And, you know, it stays in-house, basically, PBC. So, you know, as opposed to him fighting somebody like... Uh, 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 well, if you'd have fought Gary Russell, that would that would have been in house too get, uh, as well. But I guess you know Gary Russell is kind of on the outs with the PBC for some reason. I, like I had alluded to in in some of my videos prior to this, I don't think that Gary Russell really you know uh, play the game or he doesn't really follow instructions. You know uh, he's basically always you know spitting in the wind when it comes to what PBC is doing. So it looks like he's not going to really get the fights that he want to get in PBC. But, you know, it is what it is. But again, uh, congratulations to uh, Devante. You know, uh, he did what he was supposed to do, and he did it in emphatic fashion. 
and you know i'm just glad that uh santa cruz didn't get hurt too bad in this fight okay uh hopefully he doesn't you know i don't see any more fights like that one okay uh and uh you know it is what it is but yeah i want to see uh Devontae davis you know in some real fights you know against real competition okay instead of these cherry picking fights that he's been doing so far okay uh you know he needs to fight you know i mean they, they've, they've brought him along carefully up until now i mean it's now time for him to get in there and fight some real you know elite fighters you know in his weight division i mean you know you need to fight some of the, 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 the top fighters you know the devin haney's and the the uh tevin farmers and you know uh those those type of guys you know what i'm saying i mean you need to fight some guys like that you know real real uh real real fighters so hopefully we're gonna see that now that you know maybe he's enough of a star now to where they where they think they can put him in there against real competition okay and and maybe we're gonna see some real fight from uh Devante davis you know in the near future i mean I, I mean i'm hoping that's what it's gonna be but you know who knows you know maybe they're gonna continue on this star making uh track that they're on and they're not gonna really put him in there with guys that can really fight you know i mean i don't know if he's trying to unify the lightweight but if he's gonna unify lightweight he's gonna have to fight guys like Devin haney teal fimo uh you know and those type of guys so let's see what happened but uh again uh this fight to me was a mismatch even though Devontae davis did it what he was supposed to do uh, you can't fault him for that he did what he was supposed to do and he did it in an emphatic fashion but at the end of the day it really was a mismatch and that fight should have really never happened and you know that's just the way i see it uh this is tbe boxing i'm out